Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 19th of 2023. Well, it is titled ringed ice giant Neptune. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the planet Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system, 30 astronomical units from our sun. And the astronomical unit is defined as the distance between the Earth and the sun. So it is 30 times farther away from the sun than our Earth is. Now we also see its ring system there. You can see the distinct rings orbiting around it. And we find now that all of the outer planets have rings. All four of those giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, do have a ring system. Now, when we look at the structures, we can also start to see some structures in the atmosphere of the planet, as well as some structure within the ring. So the detail with which the Webb Space Telescope is able to view in the infrared portion of the spectrum really helps in being able to give us some views of Neptune as at the best we've seen since the uh, Voyager 2 visit back in 1989. Now we also see another bright object out there and you can see the distinct diffraction pattern and that interesting pattern that does signify the optics of the Webb Space Telescope. And that is not a star, but actually one of the moons of Neptune. And it is the moon known as Triton. So why does it look so much brighter? It looks so much brighter than Neptune in this image. Well, it's a lot smaller by far. Triton is more comparable in size to our own moon. And Neptune is several times larger than Earth. So you'd think just by size that Neptune should be a lot brighter. But the Webb Space Telescope images in the infrared and the atmosphere of Neptune is made up of methane. Now you may recognize the name methane as one of the greenhouse gases and greenhouse gases are those that are very good at absorbing infrared light. So that means that Neptune is not as bright when we look at it in the infrared, but that Triton is very good at reflecting that infrared light to us. So it actually appears relatively bright there up in the upper portion of the image. Now Triton is not the only moon visible here. There are actually seven of the 14 known moons are visible in this image. And you can probably guess see some of them relatively close to the planet there. And those are some of the other moons. But Triton is the only large moon around uh, Neptune. So and in fact, there are seven large moons in the solar system, six in the outer solar system, and of course, our own moon orbiting Earth uh, in the inner part of the solar system. So here we get to see the image of Neptune in the infrared from the Webb Space Telescope. And in addition, we can see several of its moons, including the large moon Triton, visible off above and slightly to the left of Neptune. So that was our picture of the day for August 19th of 2023. It was titled Ringed Ice Giant Neptune. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.